Yo, 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 what's going on guys, your boy Spilate 2K7 back with another Coast to Call Us episode here in Grand Theft Auto 5 LSPDFR. And if you guys do want to check out the beta version of this mod, it is available in early access if you check out the Parks Benefactor program. Link can be found down below in the video description. So today guys, we just got a special call. We have a report of a giant tree that fell down on US Route 1 and um, EMS and fire are already on scene they are trying to ex extricate the victims and get them out of the car seems like a tree fell directly onto the car and they got injured pretty badly um, so we're gonna go ahead and head out there we already have our pilot waiting for us and hopefully by the time we get overhead Fire and rescue have them extricated and they got them out of the vehicle and it will be able to medevac them to the nearest the nearest trauma center. So we're gonna go ahead and take off here. It is still raining a little bit after that nor'easter came through. And um it's it's pretty windy as well. Wind is on right now. It is it is pretty windy. So we're gonna go ahead and head right up US Route 1. And we're going to see if we could do a meta back here and save the people. So it's all about time today, guys. We need to get there. We need to stabilize the victims. And we need to get them to the trauma center as fast as possible, guys. So let's go ahead and hop into our first person view. We do have our partner with us as well. Now, I'm not too sure how big this tree is, but... The way that the call came over the radio, it sounds like it's pretty intense. So I don't know if the tree fell directly on the car or if the tree fell and then the car smashed into it at highway speeds. I'm not really sure, but we're just going to try to do our best to get there, stabilize the victims and get them out of here as fast as possible. So I believe we have two victims, one male, one female that are, we're going to be transporting. There were some other people involved in accidents that were driving other vehicles, but... Um, they, they are going to be okay. They have minor injuries and they're going to be transported via ambulance. But these two, um, especially I believe the female, they took a lot of a lot of damage during that crash. So we have to try to get there and save them. It should be... It's going to be after Zen Kudo, I believe. So let's go ahead and try to speed up a little bit here. But yeah guys, how was this storm for everybody? Was everybody okay? Anybody lost any power or anything like that? I'm kind of fortunate, uh, like two blocks over, lost power. When I was coming home last night, I realized, I was like, thank God. Uh, we didn't lose power as well. Definitely am Attention, feeling for the people that Lincoln did. We have a suspect resisting arrest. Alright, let's make sure we do not violate Fort Zancudo's airspace here. Go ahead and go unavailable. Let's watch out for the Cessna again. Copy dispatch. All right. I believe Highway Patrol has closed down the highway as well, which is why we're not seeing too much traffic. There is a large buildup up ahead, I believe. So let's see what happens once we get on scene. All right. Oh shoot, alright guys, we're here. We are here, hold up. Alright, that is a really big tree guys. That tree is huge, alright. So it appears like that tree has fell. And I don't see where the vehicle is yet. Alright, it's going to be a little tricky here. Alright, we're going to go ahead and get ready. I'm going to go ahead and switch to the right rear. We're going to let our pilot take control of the aircraft here. Let's try to see what's going on here. We're going to contact uh, Fire and Rescue. Let's see if they have the victims ready to be transported. It's pretty crazy right now. Let's uh, hover right over here. Oh shoot, there's a, a truck went off the road there as well. Wow. 
Alright, this is looking pretty great. Oh shoot, here we go. Alright, so it looks like the tree is literally on top of the sports car here. So I think those are the victims that we're going to be extricating here. Alright, so let's go ahead and get into position. I'm going to instruct my pilot to kind of go right over here. We're going to try to... Um, we're going to try to... Uh, get these victims out of here. So we're moving in. I do apologize about the lag. It's probably the map mod that I'm using right here. It's, it has a lot of vehicles. We could have probably turned some of those off. Alright, so this tree is looking pretty huge, guys. Um, yeah, this is going to be pretty interesting here. The wind is blowing us as well as you see. The pilot is trying to keep us steady. Alright, no time to waste. Let's go ahead and get the hoist ready. Let's go ahead and get on to the hoist. And let's go ahead and head down. Alright. So we are lowering our rescue swim right here. As you can see, it is really windy right now. The winds are still gusting up to 25 miles per hour. So it's not the ideal conditions, but we gotta do what we gotta do here. Alright, we're nearly down. And we're down. Alright, let's send that back up. So let me assess the situation. Let me see what resources I need here. And let's see what's going on. Alright, looks like we have our two victims here. How you doing, medic? She's she's not doing so well. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and get her into the helicopter first. What about this guy? Okay. Alright, so it seems like the lady has most of the um the uh trauma there. So we're gonna go ahead and get a stretcher out and let's go ahead and lower down a stretcher yeah our pilot is really fighting with the winds right now guys he is fighting with the winds It really is windy. If you look at the trees, look how much the wind is blowing there. Alright, let me try to use our line here and pull this straight to us. Keep it nice and straight, as they would in real life. Alright, looking pretty good. Alright, let's get the lady up here first. Alright, ma'am, I'm going to get you out of here, okay? We're literally <laughs> carrying her. Alright, let's get her into the stretcher here. Up, 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 up. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Alright guys, so we got her in properly. Don't look up her skirt, guys. Come on, don't look, don't look. Be professionals, guys. Don't look. Alright, so she's going up. We have one survivor coming up. And we're going to go ahead and medevac her to the nearest trauma center. I'm going to go ahead and see if this guy needs to be rescued as well. Alright, so they're going up. Alright, let's deal with this guy. Um, I know they were together. Does he have to go as well? He does? Alright, all right, sir. Go ahead and get up. You're going to be coming along for the ride as well. Let me just go ahead and get him out of that sitting animation there so he doesn't have any issues. Alright, there we go. Alright, so let's go ahead and get this guy into the helicopter as well. So she's in. And let's go ahead and just switch it up a bit. Let's remove the basket. Let's get... Alright, let's remove the stretcher. Let's get a basket. And let's get the basket to come down. So right now, the basket's coming down. We're going to go ahead and load this guy into the basket. Oh, that wind is crazy, guys. That wind is crazy. We gotta give a shout out to our helicopter pilot right now. Because they are doing an awesome job. Actually, let's go ahead and pull that back up. That's too far into the tree over there. Let's try to just nudge them over here a little bit. Using our keypad. Whoops.
Let me roll this up. I think that's... Alright, there we go. Now let's see if we can just get him to come over just a little bit here. There you go, there you go. Alright, perfect. So right now I'm using my numpad key to kind of tell him exactly where I need him to drop that hoist or that bucket. Alright, let's tell him to go forward a little bit here. Alright, that should do what I'm thinking. I think that's going to be okay. So let's go ahead and lower it down the rest of the way. I'm going to get this guy inside. Alright, where is it at? There we go, perfect. Alright, let's get him in. He's in, up, up, and away. So we have our second survivor coming up right now, and then we're going to pick up our swimmer, and then we're going to get them to the nearest trauma center, guys. All right, he's in. Go ahead and get rid of the basket there. And let's just send the hoist down one last time. Oh, I didn't mean to get rid of the hoist. All right, let's send the hoist down. And we're gonna pick up our swimmer and then we're gonna go ahead and rush these people to the hospital. Hopefully they will be okay. I do want to also say my heart does go out to anybody that was negatively, negatively affected during the storm. It was pretty crazy and I know a lot of people did die in real life which is really really sad so whenever I do make these videos it's never in a way to like make fun of the storm and everything because you know mother nature is really powerful and you, you gotta respect it you know. So even though I do try to recreate some of these scenes and stuff like that. I do mean it with a good heart. I don't mean it to like mock people that was affected or anything like that. All right, let's go ahead and jump in. Let's go. Let's see, let's go to that seat there. Let's see, can we see what's going on? Let's try another seat. Actually, no, this seat is there. All right, so we have everybody inside. All right, she's in the basket. The other guy is behind her. It's kind of hard to see. So let's go into the pilot seat now. I'm gonna go ahead and get these guys to the nearest trauma center, which is gonna be in Los Santos. So we are clear. Now let's go ahead and drop these guys off. Remember guys, if you guys did enjoy this episode, make sure you guys smash that like button. Leave some comments down below. Oh, uh, danger close. All right, let's see where we're gonna be dropping these passengers off at. So I think we should go to the nearest trauma center. I forgot which hospital is the best. Let's take them to this one. Let's fly not over the military base, but let's fly. Oh, we're really close to the military base. Let's try to fly around it this way. I think I do have restricted on anyway, so I don't have to worry about getting shut down actually, but let's uh, fly right over Vinewood Hills and we should be at the medical center in no time, guys. Alright guys, so we're coming up on the hospital, just gotta get over this mountain here should be there in about two minutes. It is really windy though. <laughs> I did turn in the wind in the trainer to make this video a little bit more interesting here. Alright, so let's see. Where is the hospital? Should be directly in front of us. Uh, I 
think I have visual. It's going to be right in front of us. I, I would say this is one of the trauma centers. Because this hospital is pretty big, so... Yeah, let's go with this one. So let's go ahead and go in for our final approach here. Landing gear down. And we are coming in pretty fast. Go ahead and bleed off some airspeed. And let's go ahead and try to land this bad boy. That's actually pretty good for being a cinematic camera. <laughs> Alright, so it is really windy still here, guys. Just be very careful. I have to, have to put away my hoist. That's kind of dangerous. Flying with that hoist flapping around like that. Oh man, we're being blown like crazy right now. Whoa. Alright, I didn't mean to do that, but alright, we're done. We are done, guys. Alright, so they are taking the patients in. Looks like they are going to be okay. Um, hopefully we can get an update from the medical staff. And hopefully they will be released without incident there. So, let's go ahead and delete the hoist since we forgot to do that from the beginning. And that is going to do it for this episode, guys. So I do thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys check out Coastal Callouts. If you guys want to learn more about it, check out the links down below in the video description. So huge shout outs to PW Parks fan, as always, for working on this. And um, like I said, I figured we'll switch it up with today's Coastal Callouts episode. And we'll use the map mod, and we try to have some fun with that so let's head back to the airport guys and that is gonna do it so i do thank you guys for watching i really do hope you guys enjoy and i will see you guys in the next one peace